In this video, we're going to show you how to make this dingy yellowed machine back to brand new. I love this machine. It's a workhorse. It's versatile. It does so many things. It's got a great motor in it so I can really power it. And it's just ugly. So we're going to have fun with this. You'll need a few supplies. This is a uh, bleach that's used to put highlights into people's hairs. I use don't go higher than 40. You can get it at a beauty supply store or online. You'll need a paintbrush, an old one. Black lights. These I got on Amazon. There's two in here. It's just LED black light. Kind of important. The other thing you'll love is this press and seal. So this is a cellophane that is kind of sticky on one side. It's great in many other sewing applications. So you'll love it. And you'll love it in the kitchen as well. You can see here I've prepared this handle with this and it just sticks right on there. The other thing you'll need is a box big enough to fit the sewing machine in, some aluminum foil, and a way to stick the lights onto the sides of the box. So let's get started. First you want to do a side that you can do some testing on. Every brand of machine does a different way of applying the lettering into the plastic and you don't want to wipe that out. So I've started with the back of the machine. I just wanted to show you this first. This was very, very yellow. You can see on the top, I haven't done it, so you can see how yellow that top is. So you can see the contrast of how beautiful it is. And it did not affect the lettering. Even though I've tested the back and it didn't seem to affect the lettering, I'm going to do a little test on the front as well. You see how this machine has a picture of all the stitches it can do by dialing in the different numbers. Well, if I wipe that out, this machine is worthless. So I'm going to do the process just on a small portion of the lettering, maybe this here that's not important, or maybe this measuring scale that I've never used. Here's my box preparation. It's pretty primitive. It's just an old Amazon box that fits a sewing machine plus some space. And I've put aluminum foil down on one side. I'm just going to do one side of the machine at a time because I only have the two uh, lights. So I'll prepare the sewing machine, slip it in there, turn the lights on, and in 24 hours, it's going to look great. Here I'm showing you I've prepared the front of the machine. I've put my bleach on and then I used the press and hold to keep it moist and then I put it in the lights. It's already start, starting to brighten. You can see how it's starting to match this uh, door. It just is looking fantastic. I did the test on the little words here. and didn't seem to bother the words and it looks like they're coming out really great. So this machine has maybe six or seven more hours to go under the lights. We finished and this machine looks brand new. Now it took me a few days because I only had the two lights to do one side at a time. But pretty easy to lather on the bleach, put the plastic down, pop it back in the box. And each time it was like unwrapping a present to see what happened to that particular side and how pretty it looked. So I hope this has helped you. It will help on other electronics you might have that have turned yellow. You can try that. And thanks for watching.